Hi viewers and welcome to the shop. Today we're going to do a bit of a tear down and maybe a bit of fault finding. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I have on here the bottom half. I don't know if you can see that. It's a, of an RDA machine. I think it's the, the T862. do quite often use the heated plate. But if you see here, it's jumping all over the place. No reason at all, it's not pulling any power, everything is switched off. I know that, it, there's nothing plugged into that. Nothing plugged in, into that. But this shouldn't be doing this. Look how far that's jumping, that's jumping from 23 to... Oh, it's horrendous. So we're going to pull it apart, see what we can find. Right, first things first. Uh, let's... Unscrew, see what's inside here. Always remember, unplug. This is the last one. Okay, right. There we got a very nice toroidal transformer. Uh, and this looks like just a generic module. Just plugged into here. Looks like a regulator. I can't quite see what regulator it is. Mm. Well, I don't think it is a regulator, actually it's probably the fire arrestor for the heater up here. Uh, can't see anything obvious. Lots of hot snot. The, yeah, that's a sensor in question which comes into there. We've got a ribbon cable there. I mean, I would imagine it's, it almost looks like it's a power supply problem. Uh, even though it does it on and off load, I don't know why it does it. What I'd like to do is actually tap in and. Uh, Try and see how regulated that supply is, because that is, as you saw, jumping everywhere. And I don't think it's meant to do that. Okay. I haven't made anything easy for us here. With all this hot snot. Odd. Just wanted to get the board and flip it over. Just want to look. I always like to look for anything obvious to start off with before we delve in and. Right. Almost there. Almost. Can't disconnect anything. But we may be able to flip board say maybe <laughs> maybe and maybe not yeah, come on give us enough room to flip the board Not 
didn't want this to come apart, did they? Come on, come on, come on. Right, let's have a look on the underside. What have we got? There's a few bridging wires. Don't know why that is. Uh, obviously made some mistakes in the circuit board. Also saying there, that's quite strange. It doesn't look like it's blown, it looks like deliberately removed. Okay. Definitely a strangey. Let's see where that goes or comes from. No. Alright, it's pretty much main to that one there. Okay, I'm just uh, going to switch off the video, and I'll be back in a short while. Okay, well I've had a good look around. Uh, this display looks like it is just the display. It's all controlled by an 80 Mega 16 here. Uh, the power supply is as stable as anything. I was hoping it was probably a capacitor gone and. Uh, that was causing the issue but it's not uh, I've actually shorted the sensor out here and it's still wonders uh, I said the problem's going to be in the 80 mega so I can't really go any further with this I hope it was quite interesting to have a look inside one of these uh, as I said this is the, the display the switches and that will come into here which is being run by the 80 mega this is nothing more than a glorified power supply yeah these are these are our sensors in sensor for the soldering iron sensor for the hot plate there and these are our power to hot plate and power to uh, all the soldering iron and things like that uh, not much else I can say. Uh, no, fan's a bit noisy, but power supply is stable. So what I may need to do is look at actually totally modifying this and look a bit more into the 80 mega, which is going to be obviously another video. It's not going to be covered today. I uh, hope it was interesting having a little peek inside. Definitely a nice big uh, toroidal there. Mm. And definitely horrible when they're covered in glue. Uh, it looks like it's, it's obviously a multifunction board or something. There is components here which are missing. Maybe there's different options. I didn't actually know they did any other options of this, but could be wrong. As you see, some resistors missing here as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope it was useful. And uh, keep tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Many thanks.